Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. I've got an unboxing for you guys today. It's the Hello Lovely box, the fall box featuring Penelope Douglas. If you know me, you know that I am a Penelope Douglas fangirl, so I had to get myself this box. I got the bouquet box. It's the biggest box from Hello Lovely box. It's got the featured author plus a mystery author, and sometimes there is even a third author, like another mystery author, and there are three authors for this box. It's the fall box. They have a box for every season and every book in each box has a special cover. It's a special edition. It is a mystery though. You know the author but you don't know which specific book is being featured. So I got this box yesterday and I obviously already opened it because I have zero patience and I needed to see what books were in the box. If you follow me on Instagram you probably might have already saw which books and which authors are in this box but I did put everything back to the way it was so it's kind of like a first unboxing and plus I didn't even look at anything else besides the book so let me show you guys what is in this box because I already love it based on the books that I saw also I'm wearing my hello lovely box sleep shirt because it's 8 30 and I'm probably gonna go back to bed right after I film this here are the three books in the bouquet box and I am so excited and happy about them because I have read all three of these authors and I've loved all three of these authors two of the books I have actually given four and five stars to and as you can tell they all came in a plastic wrap obviously I have to show you guys the Penelope Douglas special edition first I was actually thinking it might be Tristix Venom or Credence because I had a feeling it was gonna be one of her standalones and since Birthday Girl and Punk 57 were already done like those two books had special editions with different boxes there were only a few options left honestly though I would have been happy with any Penelope Douglas book because I pretty much love all of them uh, but it actually turned out to be Credence which was one of my favorite books from last year look how pretty Credence looks it does have similar vibes to the original like with the trees with the remoteness but it also has the cabin and the snow which is so so fitting for this book so here's a close-up um, of the spine as well it is pretty thick and this is what the back looks like. I love it so much. I think Hello Lovely Box did an amazing job with this special edition cover. You can also open it up and the first page is like a black and white of the cover. It is signed by Penelope. All the books that you get in the Hello Lovely boxes, they're all signed. And you also get some special headers for the chapters. It is slightly smaller than the original, which is probably why it's thicker, but I love them. Like look at them side by side. They are so perfect. Almost forgot to mention I do have a video review for this book with some spoilers towards the end of the video so if you want to hear my thoughts on Credence go check that out. The other author in this box, the first mystery author, is QB Tyler. I loved Love Unexpected by her this year so I was so excited to see this book which is unconditional. I haven't read it yet but it's on my TBR. This one is another forbidden romance with an age gap like Love Unexpected so I have high hopes for this one and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just as hot as Love Unexpected. I love how it looks like these flowers. It's so simple but so so pretty. Here's the author's signature and it says love unconditionally. The third author is one of my favorites, one of my favorite dark romance authors. It's Pam Godwin and this is the special edition of Dark Notes which is one of my favorites from her. It's another forbidden romance, a taboo age gap romance between a piano teacher and his student, his prodigy. There's this beautiful piano on this cover and this is what the back looks like. It's signed here and I don't know if this is also in the original because I don't own it but this is what the chapter header looks like and also like Credence the first page is just like the cover. So these three books oh my gosh I'm so so happy with them. I love the way they look and now I'm gonna show you guys what else is in this box all the other non-book goodies. So these big boxes the bouquet box Boxes. They come with 6 to 10 items, not including the books, whereas the smaller boxes like the bundle box that comes with 4 items and then the bloom box comes with 1 mystery item. They do all come with 2 ebook codes plus the signed special edition. So the 2 ebook codes here are The Black Room by Jacinda Wilder and Jade London. The Black Room is an erotic romance and the other one is The Illest Taboo by Kale Hall 
with, I'm assuming, a taboo romance. So this heroine ends up falling for her best friend's husband's brother. There's this headband, this cozy headband with book babe on it. There's a bandana with some skeletons on it, which is perfect for Halloween. I really like the hearts, like the literal heart and figurative hearts. This says it's a creepy love bandana. There's this notepad, which has the same design as this scarf, this headband. It says the beginning is always today by Mary Shelley. There is a cute little pouch. Oh my gosh, it's a quote from Corrupt from Devil's Night. It says, it's just you little monster, own it or it will own you. And yes, I pretty much recognize that quote. It's a quote in Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. I didn't even have to look it up, I just knew. It zips open, I really like this color. Here we have a keychain, it says, happily ever after or die trying. Here's some raspberry pomegranate chapstick. And this last one is a handcrafted bar soap. It's rose coconut flavored by Three Sisters Apothecary. So it slides open, there's a little cauldron design on the side, and this is what the soap looks like. It definitely smells like rose. And there is candy. That's pretty much everything that came in the Penelope Douglas bouquet box. If you ended up missing this box, like you didn't know about it in time, or it sold out before you could get it, they are probably going to be adding some extra ones to the shop to have a lovely box, but at a later date, so just keep an eye out on that, or check my Instagram where I usually will share it. If you do wanna buy it or anything else from the shop, you can use my code at Lacey15 for 15 percent off. I do also want to mention that Hello Lovely Box has another box coming up in early October, October 4th. If you ever missed any of their special editions from 2019 or 2020, they are coming back for a limited time. They're coming back in the vault boxes, but you can't buy them individually. These vault boxes only come in half a year or yearly boxes, so you could get like a spring and summer of 2019 box. So you'd get all the special editions from those two seasons from that year. Or you could get all the books from fall and winter of 2019, so the second half of the year, or you could also get the entire year's worth of special edition books. The website will have exactly like what book is in what box and what the covers will look like. So you will definitely know what books you're getting in what box before you buy. And again, you can use my code for those vault boxes. That's pretty much it for this Penelope Douglas unboxing. Let me know your thoughts on these covers. If you couldn't tell, I love them all. And I can't exactly finish this video without showing all the special editions that I have from Penelope Douglas. These two hardcovers of Birthday Girl were from Mystic Box and they all look so freaking nice together. Anyway, that is it. I had to end on that note. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!